So a favorite memory that I have goes all the way back to uh, not that long ago, I guess, but 2021. I had a daughter in 2020 in January. And so about two months later, the world shut down because of COVID and we didn't go anywhere for a long time. And so fast forward to uh, spring of 2021, things were starting to open back up. Things were getting kind of back to somewhat normal, maybe phase one of normal. And uh, we went to Salem Street Pub in downtown Apex on Salem Street. And I'll never forget my daughter sitting at the table with us. It was the very first time she'd been to a restaurant. It was the very first time she'd really been out in this new kind of way to experience life. And we were sitting there and she got a very safe food because, you know, first, first restaurant, first meal. Uh, and so we got her mac and cheese and applesauce. And I'll never forget that she was sitting there and um, she's about maybe 16 months old. So she's starting to use a fork and she's sitting there and she's feeding herself. And all of a sudden she just starts dancing and like getting really excited about things. And um, you could just tell that she was so happy to finally be just like experiencing normalcy. And so my husband and I just looked at each other and I remember us like locking eyes and we didn't say anything to each other, but we just knew that it was like such a sweet moment for us. It was our baby was finally getting to see the great things about Apex that we've loved um, and getting to have her own memories and her own takes. So definitely a favorite memory of mine. So my most important memory goes back all the way to 2015. I was working at a radio station in Chapel Hill and the whole time I was there, I was kind of looking for other jobs because I knew from the get that I wanted to be in local government. And so I already lived here in Apex and uh, I was looking all around the Southwest Wake area for a job. And so I applied for a job here as an administrative specialist in the economic development department and uh, got a call back for uh, an interview. And so went into my interview, uh, met the director of economic development, Joanna Helms, and then her and I, after my interview, we just chatted for like 15 minutes after the interview was over up in her office suite. And I walked away from the interview thinking, I have no idea how well I did, but I think I could really like being here. And so a couple days later, um, the HR director, Eleanor Green, gave me a phone call and she was like, hi, Karen, um, we're here to you know, offer you the position, blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, this is Karen, Karen Cox. And she goes, yes. And she kind of probably thought, why am I offering you this job if you don't even know? And, and I said, are you serious? And she goes, yes, we really want you. We were so impressed with you. And I just remember feeling so much excitement that I was finally going to be in local government. I had just graduated college the year before, but knew that that's what I wanted to be in. That's where my heart was. And so, uh, I began my job and on the very first day, I met the communications manager at that point, her name's Stacy Galloway, and I'll never forget just meeting with her. I think our conversation was maybe a 30 minute meeting, maybe an hour, and I walked away from that meeting and called my husband and, and said, I met my work best friend today. And I just loved her energy. I loved how smart she was and how creative she was, and I could tell that from one hour of meeting with her. And so I, I knew that I wanted to learn from her more and learn from Joanna more too. And so then for the next four years, that's what I did. I learned from both of them a lot. And throughout those four years, I kind of learned that what I wanted to do was more communications, more general communications. And so um, in 2019, I transitioned to being full-time communications with Stacy. And I just look back at all of the pieces that lined up so that I could get into the job that I'm in now. One that I love so much, that's given me the ability to be the project lead for the Apex 150th celebration year. It's given me the ability to work with every department and get to know them and tell their stories, um, the importance that they have for the town and the residents that they serve. And I just look back and think that each moment was like specifically carved out. And I'm so thankful for the importance that all of it was in my life and how much it's shaped me as a person, not just professionally, but personally too. Um, 
working in the community that you live in, that you invest in, is special. And it's something that I want more and more people to be able to experience. Um, but I've really enjoyed getting to experience it these last eight years. Apex is home to me in so many ways. Um, it's where I brought my daughter home. It's where I brought my golden doodle home <laughs> um, to a much more like a smaller level. Uh, it's where I've bought two homes and uh, it's the first place that I was an adult in a lot of ways. Um, I've made some mistakes in Apex. Uh, I've learned some lessons. And I think that all of those types of things really build to what makes a place home to you. Uh, my family lives about an hour away and they always pick at me whenever we're all together, like on family vacations. They'll ask me if I'm thinking Apex because um, I used to be the staff member that was connected to the Think Apex project. And, you know, it's, it's funny and it's true, um, but yeah, I think Apex a lot. You know, I think, I think about the greenways and the parks whenever I need to get out and take a breather. I think about the restaurants whenever I want to go and have a meal with my family that's low pressure and high enjoyment. And I just think that this place is special. It's a very big town in population, but it's a small town in the way that people choose to connect with one another. And that makes it so, so special. So I think as an employee, I probably have a very unique um, way to see Apex's potential, uh, especially as a communications person. I have a front row seat to communicating all of the plans and all of the uh, ways that we're requesting feedback through surveys to make those plans. And so I would say that my hopes for Apex's potential are that people keep being all in. You know, the the mission, if you will, for the Apex 150th year is to unify, create common understanding, and challenge Apex community members to go all in, right? And so I want that to be the forever model uh, of what our residents do. I want them to go all in with this community, not just sleep here and maybe run to the grocery store here, but live here, invest here, grow here, and cherish the moments that this place gives you um, and helps you to create with your family and friends and any kind of person that you call family. So, so the 150th celebration really got started in the summer of 2021. Uh, we all came to a meeting. Uh, our town, our deputy town manager, uh, Sean Purvis, called a meeting kind of of people that were attached to special events, communications folks, some people that were attached to the business community and some of our parks folks. And we all sat in a meeting and kind of just dreamt up what a celebration could even look like. And so I remember walking out of that meeting and thinking, I wanna do this. I wanna lead this project. I love this town and what an amazing opportunity to, to dive in, you know. And so I looked at my director, Stacy, and said, can I have this? And she looked at me and she said, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And she goes, okay. And so kind of from that somewhat organic moment, uh, I became the project lead. Now, as a project lead, my role has been one of so many people. Uh, I have... Uh, led a team of staff that have poured their hearts and souls into this project. Uh, they have led uh, committees that have been all community members and those committees have made huge impacts on what we've done this year. We had a historic committee that helped us build a ton of the materials that showcased Apex's history. We had a special event committee that gave us a ton of ideas to brainstorm for the Party in the Peak event on September 23rd. And then we had a community champions subcommittee that we kind of pivoted a little bit for them to become our, our spread the word folks and our champions within their circles. But each individual person on all of these subcommittees and the staff members really made all the difference. It's not one person's initiative, it's not one group's initiative, it's all of Apex's initiative. So 
in that planning time between 2021 and the launch on February 28th of 2023, as a staff and as a, as a town of committee members, we did a lot. Uh, we went around and talked to all of the, the civic groups in town. So you think the Rotaries, uh, all of those different kinds of things, the chamber, and, and we made a, an intentional effort to welcome people into the celebration year with us. Whenever we were planning this, we thought, okay, maybe we give a nod to Peak Week um, from back in the day. Maybe we give a nod to the Centennial Celebration that was a week. And we thought, but we got, we've got more. As a town now, we have more of a story to tell. We are 70,000 people, all with an individual story. And so we said, let's just look at what we already do every year, take it up a notch, make it even more special, and then offer really unique and special pieces of our history to be put out on display as activities. And so what we, what we did through community coll collaboration, through special events, uh, through all kinds of different means was come up with over 150 ways to celebrate. And we didn't stop there <laughs> because uh, we also decided, hey, so much history gets forgotten when someone passes away. You know, those oral histories mean so much. And so how can we capture those oral histories? Uh, we really took a nod from Warren and Toby Holloman who uh, wrote a book for the Centennial and interviewed tons of people for that book to dive into Apex's history. So knowing the impact that they had in the stories that they were able to tell, that's how we kind of came to the idea to do our own video series. So we set out to do a What Makes Apex Home video series, asking the questions that I answered today. And so um, the beauty of that is that each and every person has given us a different answer because every person has that unique 150th story, that past, present, and potential. We all have that within us and what a unique opportunity to put it on display through these videos. Um, you know, we created a brand. We created a whole new logo, a whole new brand, a whole new identity, a whole new website. Um, all of this was before the launch. And so, so many pieces were intricately put together before we launched to really showcase what makes our town so special. And it's been such a rewarding project to be a part of and to really get to pour into. And I'm really thankful for the impact that we've had. Another thing that we were able to do throughout the celebration year was pour all of our resources uh, for this upcoming fiscal year into the Party in the Peak celebration. So when we were planning this entire year, we talked to a lot of different municipalities. We didn't just say, oh, we have all the answers. We know everything. We said, let's ask people that just recently celebrated these big anniversaries and see what they say. What, what advice do they have? What feedback can they give us? And we talked to three or four different municipalities in the North Carolina area that had just gone through these celebrations. And all of them gave us pretty unanimous uh, advice, I would say. They said, pour into the free event. Make it as welcoming and inclusive as you possibly can. And knowing that one of our strategic goals is that we're a welcoming community was an easy fit for us, right? So we, we said, okay, <laughs> we hear you. And they also told us, don't buy a bunch of swag because you're gonna end up with it sitting in your office for years. And so we said, well, we still want people to be able to celebrate the year with us. How can we accomplish that? So that's how the Passport to the Peak was born. So the Passport to the Peak is your all-in-one guide to the celebration year. It offers a timeline of our history. So you've got like a little booklet that tells you our past. It has a tentative list of some of the ways that you can celebrate the 150th year. It, it has a memory collection you know, area to it that you can use as a scrapbook. I mean, how fun, right? So you can take photos of your family on the Greenway or snap a photo of you attending a special event, keep a receipt from when you shopped local, whatever that means to you, however you decide to go all in. And those 150 ways to celebrate mean that you get to pick and choose what fits you, what tells your story the best, how you feel like you connect to this town. And we have had really great reception for it. Um, it doesn't hurt that whenever you, uh, 
knock off some of the activities. You get free stuff in exchange. Everyone loves some good free stuff. Um, and what we decided was based on the feedback of other municipalities, instead of putting the 150th logo everywhere and in one year people saying, ugh, okay, that's dated or whatever. Instead, we put the Peak of Good Living logo on it because as we've learned and as we all know, the Peak of Good Living is not going anywhere. People love the Peak of Good Living. That sentiment, our slogan, just resonates so much with people in this community. And so we thought, what better way to get people to have some really cool stuff than by putting that logo on it for it to be a little bit more timeless for them. Uh, all in all, the celebration year is going to go through February 2024. Um, at the end of it, we will have celebrated over 150 ways. We will have 150 interviews asking people what makes Apex home. We will have had a big celebration right here on town campus. Uh, we will have celebrated our history, learned from our past, both the good and the bad pieces of our history, and really taken a deep dive into what it means to go all in to this community.